model, filmmaker, dancing with the stars champion, and activist in the deaf community. Niall DeMarco is having quite a year, and he's out now with a new book. Our Kira Phillips caught up with him. Have you achieved deaf utopia? If breaking barriers and shattering stereotypes equals everything perfect. Congratulations, Niall. You are America's Next Top Model. Niall DeMarco has nailed it. I remember when I first won America's Next Top Model, my mom actually ran backstage and she came on set and immediately I said, I want to change the world. Coda. <laughs> Within a changing industry. This is our moment. It's a sign of the times. Was the Oscars a watershed moment? Truly. But what most people don't realize is that along with CODA, we had something from our community represented in five different categories. And now a new book revealing his roots in representing deaf culture, his love letter to a way of life. How many times do hearing people say to you, deafness, it's a disability, and you say, no, 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 deafness, it's a culture. Absolutely, absolutely. So many times hearing people will question whether or not we have a culture. They're hesitant to believe that it even exists, but in fact, we have a language, which means we have culture. I do hope that this book provides a little bit more insight to those people and that they see that my upbringing. I have the whole Italian family here. Mom, where's the ziti? <laughs> I'm hungry. <laughs> Four generations of Italian deaf dinners, drive and determination. Mom, you knew you had to be an advocate. Why? Well, because of my parents. I'm gonna cry, sorry. So because of my parents, um, they went to an oral school growing up. They weren't allowed to use sign language. And I decided when I had kids, their language, their right to have language, is American Sign Language. She taught us, you know, that there was no glass ceiling, that we could do whatever we wanted. And it didn't matter if we could hear or not. What was important was that our skills would speak for themselves if we worked hard. And here we are, Gallaudet Theater. How does it yes. feel to be here again? Life lessons Niall took to his alma mater, Gallaudet, the famed University for the Deaf in Washington, D.C. It feels good. It feels good. It feels like a full circle moment for me. I mean, I acted on this stage. Setting the stage for an award-winning career while inspiring younger deaf dreamers to be the change. We have a surprise for you. Oh, oh I love it. Thank you. Niall proved that when he created his first Netflix reality series, Deaf U, on Gallaudet's campus. What happened? What? I got your phone number. That's all good. Oh. Oh. A show about love, activism, and discovering sexual identities while navigating college in a world not always designed for the deaf. Did you ever think in your wildest dreams you would be here now? No. If someone had told me five years ago that I would have won two different reality TV shows, that I would have produced two different docu-series on Netflix. That one of those would be nominated for an Oscar. And that I would be writing a book. I would absolutely say it was impossible. Deaf utopia. I'm achieving it. I think slowly and bit by bit. But I'll never be satisfied. I'm insatiable and I always fall more. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.